Hi, I'm Deepa Joshi. In this video, we are going to see the required settings to run the Power Exchange for Salesforce sessions using proxy. Before we see the required settings, let's first test the connection outside Power Center using the same proxy setup. We need to install an utility called curl. This can be downloaded from the internet for the corresponding operating systems and bit mode where Power Center server is installed. As a prerequisite, make sure you install the curl with administrator privilege on Windows or with the root access on Unix. I am going to show you the curl test on Windows for this demo. On the Power Center server console, go to the directory where the curl executable exists. Execute the command as shown to establish the connection to the Salesforce URL using proxy details. curl minus u proxy username proxy password minus x proxy host name proxy port number Salesforce URL minus h the content type minus h soap action for login minus d at login.xml the output of this command is redirected to a text file the login.xml should contain the salesforce login information in the xml format as shown the salesforce username and password is provided here when the output text file is opened we can see that curl has succeeded in establishing connection with the Salesforce URL with the proxy credentials. The output shows an XML response which includes the session ID element and the server URL element as shown. The values of session ID element and the first part of the host name that is instance such as NA5 from the server URL element to identify the end server to which the connection is established to. This way we can confirm that proxy details and the Salesforce credentials are correct and can be used to connect to the Salesforce URL from the same box where Power Center server is installed. Hence the same proxy setup can be used for power exchange for Salesforce sessions. Now let's see what proxy settings are required to import the Salesforce objects from the Power Center client tools. To configure HTTP proxy options for the Power Center client, we need to create the pmsfdc.ini file and place it in the Power Center client client bin directory. We need to provide the details as shown, the proxy server name, the port number, proxy username and the password. Now let's see what settings are required to run the Power Exchange for Salesforce sessions. For the Power Exchange for Salesforce sessions to run using the proxy setup, we need to provide the same proxy details in the integration service under HTTP proxy properties as shown. You can refer these two knowledge base articles for more details about the settings. You can also refer the HTTP proxy options under installation and configuration in the Power Exchange for Salesforce user guide. We would love to hear from you at the addresses given here. Thank you.